everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a first look at the Swedish Starter Force. This is an S-Tank company. The uh, Swedes, you can find them in the Nordic Forces book, the, one of the latest books for Team Yankee. And in that book you've got Swedish, Norwegian, Danish, and Finn, Finland. So I think those are the factions. Um, so Battlefront starter boxes, I always love their, their starter forces. Um, they have recently gone up, I think this is 110 US um, at retail. You can probably find it a little bit cheaper online if you look around. Uh, but I mean, look at what you get. You get eight S tanks, um, three of the uh, cars, I figure what they're called, as well as two helicopters. Um, so you do get, uh, you know, a decent savings from, um, you know, buying all the stuff separate. So let's, uh, take a look over here. Um, we've got eight S tanks, three P, V, P, J, T, G, B, R, B, S, Jeeps. Whew, that's a mouthful. Two helicopters, same helicopters that the West Germans use, although... These ones have different uh, weapons. I think they have tow instead of uh, hot missiles. And then it looks like we've got data cards, decals, and then kind of the standard stuff. You get the rules and all that stuff. Um, again, th I mean, this is a great way to, um, you know, start your journey into Flames of War as one of these starter boxes. This is the only starter box that's coming out of the... Um, Nordic forces because it's uh, the uh, Swedes are one of the, the few nations that have like a lot of unique stuff. Um, the Norwegians, for example, I just recently um, built a Norwegian army and it's a lot of, uh, you know, West German and American stuff. Um, very, very little homegrown, but uh, you would say kind of the S tank is almost like the star of the, um, you know, of this release, because it's a unique uh, looking tank. All right, let's uh, open this up and see what we get. We got some bubble rack to keep things safe. Um, I tell you, I can never fit this stuff back in the box the same way that Battlefront does um, after I pull it out. Here we have some tank crews, as well as, I think those are the uh, add-on packs for the helicopters and resin to upgrade to a tow instead of a hot missile, like I said. We've got the flight stands, and then let's just kind of slide everything out here. So, we have lots of fun stuff. We got the two helicopters, we'll take a closer look at that. We've got eight sprues, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of S tanks. And then we've got a blister pack with three of those resin uh, alphabet soup vehicles with um, metal wheels and uh, the crew. Then we've got a rule book. We're gonna add that to the stack. We have decals as well as Swedish force cards. So a lot of good stuff. And then uh, let's talk value. So I know that uh, I think Battlefront sells these in boxes of five maybe? Um, no, in three, boxes of three. Um, so if you were to buy a separate platoon box, you would get a uh, set of three of these, and I think that's $30 US. So you've got eight of them here. So in effect, you're paying $10 per tank for the plastic. So that's $80 uh, worth of S tanks right there. Um, if you were to bust it out, then uh, these, you get three here, and I think Battlefront's gonna sell these in a pack of four for 25 bucks. So, three we can call maybe, you know, what's that going to be, like 18 bucks or something like that. Um, and then the two helicopters, I didn't realize, I just checked the price uh, before I started the video. These run 32 bucks for two. Um, so they're, they're pricey. 
So when you add all that together, I, you know, I'm not going to do that. You got 80, that's, um, you know, 112 when you add these in. You know, that kit comes with these plus, I think, the uh, upgrade plus the 18 or so here. You are getting about a, uh, you know, 20 dollar saving particularly when you throw in things like you've got the uh, decal sheet I know if you buy the decal separate you've got I think several sheets in there and then you've got the unit cards for the things that you need so really if you're just playing with this stuff you might not even need the unit card pack so like I said very uh, very good affordable uh, deal and you know if you're playing in Swedish you're going to probably end up using all of this stuff anyway. Okay, let's take a look at the little get started folder. So start here. So everything in this box gets you a 50 point army. That's really interesting. There's going to be an event coming up here in Arizona where there's going to be a 50 point Team Yankee army. I wonder if this would be a fun thing to take. Um, Then we have an assembly guide. The yeah, S-Tank looks pretty straightforward. Several pieces though. Um, having separate side skirts pretty standard on these, these tanks. Um, helicopter goes together pretty easy. Looks like these. That's what those letters stands for. Panzer van Spargeburger. I apologize for any um, Swedes that are watching this for my my butchering of your language. But um, anyway, we'll call them like they're jeeps. They, they're basically jeeps, and they can get the tow missile or the bill missile. It looks like uh, so that gives them some pretty decent high uh, AT. Uh, We'll look at the stats a little bit later. What's next? I do want to get some of the band cannon artillery. I've got some Vigans already because I got those for my Norwegians to support my Norwegians. You can take a Centurion if you want more tank tank and not the S tank. Uh, okay, so there you go. That is that. Um, let's look at the cards. I'll probably do over a uh, unit overviews later, but uh, nice, you get two. Oh, so really we get Swedish, lots of Swedish, Danish and Norwegian um, decals. Not all the decals, like there's no Norwegian flags, but some of the stuff for their vehicles. I like decals on the tanks, even if it's just a couple, it just adds to the, um, you know, it just adds to the paint job, particularly if they're they're pretty drab. Um, okay. And I know Battlefront is skittish about us showing points. So we have the helicopter with the improved tow missile. Gives you a 21 anti-tank, 3 plus firepower, 48 inch range. That's pretty decent. We got the Jeep, like I said, with the tow or the bill missile. The bill is actually uh, a little bit better at anti-tank 22, three plus firepower. Then you have the S-Tank, the STRV-103. Um, for number 12, I mean, that's, yeah, It's safely in the ranks of the Leopard 1, uh, you know, that kind of thing, T-55. Uh, you know, tacticals 10, cross country's 24, that's pretty speedy. It's got a nice 105 millimeter gun, any tank 21, uh, but it is overworked. So overworked means that if you move, it's uh, one harder to hit and you only get a moving rate of fire of one. That's not the, you know, it's not the best tank, but I'm assuming these are pretty cheap as chips. Uh, then we've got the tank company HQ, same thing, just a little bit better soft armor. So these do have uh, ambush tank, amphibious and slat armor. Let's take a look at that. 
Uh, ambush tank. If stationary, the team can re remain gone to ground while shooting. Oh, that's nice. So maybe the the uh, Swedes are a good defensive army. Uh, slat armor, front and side, is increased to 13. So, not bad. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble some of these so you can see what they look like, and we'll be back. Okay, um, we have built the S-Tanks. So I built all eight of them. Uh, the assembly was very simple, very straightforward. Really didn't have any complaints. I was worried about some of the maybe more fiddly bits like the... Uh, the fence there in the front or anything like that would be any problem but really um i didn't have any any problems at all the um assembly is pretty straightforward there really wasn't a lot of parts to this um everything was kind of logical there were sometimes the these uh side pieces can be hard to fit in sometimes they don't slot correctly but on this model in particular had some good um, slotting going on so it fit in just fine there was only really one way to put them so I didn't have any problem with them and it gives you a pretty uh, cool looking futuristic looking tank which is cool now I know in real life this tank had some cool hydraulics so the you know if it was hauled down it could really tip its uh, tip its gun down low which is pretty cool, and I think that's reflected oops, in some of the special rules that you get with this tank. Uh, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I mean, I really like it. It really uh, assembled nicely, and uh, I don't think I had any error. Oh, I did have one error. I don't know if it was a molding error or damage in the package, but this one, the this fencing I don't I forget what it's called but you know it's like RPG protection um, wasn't complete it was uh, missing a, a chunk out of it and it didn't look like it was broken I actually thought it might have been molded as a damaged piece and I put it on there and you know it looks like it's been damaged by enemy fire or whatever so it doesn't bother me one bit but uh, uh, I did notice that and there were no broken pieces in the bag or anything like that so I just wonder if that was uh, an issue with molding but anyway uh, like I said not a big deal at all uh, again you get eight of these guys so I built a whole bunch and they were like I said a lot of fun all right so that's the s tank let's get those out of the way next up we painted the not painted we assembled these guys so this is some of the classic Battlefront uh, metal and resin kits. If you played Flames of War for any length of time, you're familiar with these kits. They, they uh, currently are saving the, uh, these metal and resin kits for, I guess, more obscure things that they're not going to build, a, you know, make a plastic, uh, very expensive plastic mold. So you have like metal wheels, uh, metal crew, and a resin body. Some really nice detail on there, uh, but in essence, you've got just a little Jeep with a uh, anti-tank missile. You get three of these guys, <clears throat> and um, they, and it's called a PVP JTBG RBS. So, it's, that's just kind of a torturous uh, name for this unit. So, we'll just call them Jeeps. Uh, but anyway, you get three of them in the box, and I wonder if this is, uh, uh, you know, why the box is, uh, was 110, or if that's just the new uh, starter box price, 110 US. Um, you know, the Battlefront tends to charge more for the metal and resin models, and uh, it's just kind of the way that they've they've always done things. I guess because they're harder to produce once you build the plastic mold or the the mold for the plastic kits. Um, you know, it's it's a, a cheaper um, cost for them in the long run. But overall, the box set's really good. Now, I did not build the helicopters because I have uh, four of them for my West German army. So I figure I'll just use those guys for now. I'll keep those helicopters around in case I want to bump it up to eight. Yes, I know the weapons are different. Um, these are, I believe, 
tow that go on the helicopters and the um, the what is it the German helicopters have the hot missile which is a little bit different looking but close enough for my books and uh, yeah I ask my opponent's forgiveness now but there you go guys that's a look at that starter box I really like it um, you know if you're interested in the Nordic nations it's a great way to get started you know the um, you know the Swedish force has the most kind of unique vehicles to it particularly with the s tank um, and we do get the plastic centurion now which is pretty cool I realize that's not just Swedish but um, it's cool to have it so there you go i hope you enjoyed this guys uh, i sure did if you do did like it please do consider give us an, uh, giving us a like and subscribe click that bell to receive notification when we release new content thanks for watching and keep on gaming